Hey, here's another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Got a couple of things talking about today, and one main thing is the little third hand helper tool, the little do it yourself tool. You can make these things out of almost anything laying around. You just need something that's got a little weight to it, a base, and a little uh, piece of round stock bent over, and uh, that's about it. You can make them in all different designs. This one I just happen to have a big old chunk of steel, and I got some quarter inch or 3 16 round stock, sharpened a point on it, put a bend in it, and bam, you got a third hand. For holding little odd shaped little things like this that can't necessarily clamp easily, and all you need to do is hold it till you get a tack on it, the third hand tool is the bomb. Now I'm having a little problem with mine. It's putting arc strikes on parts where I don't want arc strikes. That little sharp pointed steel point sometimes transfers the welding current to a place where I don't I don't want it. So I'm gonna do a little little mod on this one here. And I'm laying it against this big uh, copper drift I have. It's about you know, a good half inch thick, so I know it's not going to ever get hot enough to to uh, accidentally weld to it. And I'm going to use it to trap gas, and I'm going to use some aluminum bronze filler metal. I'm going to put a little ball of that on the tip there, and that's going to keep it from uh, from sparking. Copper is a much better conductor than steel, and I won't get that spark and uh, arc that way. So I, I'm setting this machine here just like I would weld aluminum, because the aluminum bronze has got enough aluminum in it that it really scums up and, and welds fuzzy and scummy without that cleaning action of the, uh, of the uh, alternating current. So you can see I'm just using just enough heat, just adding some, you know, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and I'm going to wind up with a ball of copper alloy, aluminum bronze alloy, on the end of my little third hand here, and now my arc strike problem is going to be fixed. By laying it on that big chunk of copper, it traps argon and the alternating current makes it see how shiny it comes out. And well, it's really nice. I'm going to give you a little uh, example here, here, too, on how it can be used to overlay a little wear deposit on some steel. This one's got some rust pits on it, so it's not going to weld all that clean. But basically, the, the premise is, and I'm using alternating current again here, just add a little ball and just play with that foot pedal just enough to where that wets in. Because you don't want to really melt the steel. You want to change the properties of the uh, copper aluminum bronze deposit. You just want to wet it. It's like it's brazing. It actually is technically TIG brazing because aluminum bronze melts at less than half of the uh, of what steel melts at. So you just need to use just enough heat and keep the arc kind of over the base metal and just flow it forward and just wet it in. And that alternating current keeps the puddle clean a little bit. So there's just a little. Just a little tip on how that works. Now I'm going to show you again how this little thing works. I could file a notch in here. I could sharpen it just like I had the uh, the steel point, but I'm just going to try it just like it is because I've got a couple little jobs here to do. Also, I'm going to wrap some bare copper uh, wire around the base, so I'll pick up plenty of ground points off the table. And that, like, I'm going to get a tack on this thing here, and and, and this is just a quick way. It doesn't really need to be clamped. It's a really close tolerance fit. Slip it on. It needs a tack weld, but I need something to hold it and get a good ground and keep from getting arc strikes while I get a tack weld on it. And that's what that's what the third hand thing is good for. Is just a very quick, temporary way to hold something and hold an odd shaped thing in place while you get one tack on it. And then once I've did, done that, I can uh, slip it down through the slot here of the portable welding table I've got get some more tacks on it and even weld it and spin it around and do whatever else I want for it. But this, this little deposit of uh, aluminum bronze on the tip there is the ticket today. Okay, that's, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Visit WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.